Yuki was a young woman who lived in the outskirts of a Japanese town. She was known for her beauty, but also for her reserved and mysterious character. Few knew that Yuki was actually a Rokurokubi. During the day, she spent hours as a human, though at night, her yokai nature flourished. The young woman led a solitary life and hardly interacted with the neighbors. However, one day, a man named Hiroshi moved in next door. He was an inquisitive man and soon found himself intrigued by Yuki's enigmatic beauty. They spoke on several occasions and a connection began between the two. As they got to know each other better, Yuki struggled to control her transformation into Rakurokubi overnight. However, it became more and more difficult to handle the situation and her transformation became more frequent and intense. One day, Hiroshi began to notice that something was wrong with the young woman. He saw her behaving strangely and noticed her neck craning slightly at times. Perhaps it had been an optical illusion, but his doubts made him investigate and he found the name of a yokai. Still doubting if he could be facing some kind of demon, instead of walking away, Hiroshi became even more obsessed with Yuki and her supernatural nature. One night, he decided to follow her, and that's when he saw her while she was transforming. He watched her stealthily as her neck stretched out and moved in search of her next prey. Horrified, he discovered that Yuki was murdering people in the town overnight. He tried to run away, but the yokai who knew he had been discovered chased after him with its long neck outstretched, emitting a blood-curling scream. Hiroshi ran, but the Rokurokubi caught up with him and strangled him, leaving a terrible death stamp. Since then, it is said that the town where Hiroshi lived is controlled by this terrible Japanese yokai, and those who dare to approach it at night can hear the screams and see the twisted and monstrous figure of Yuki lurking. Today, we bring you the Rokurokubi, a type of Japanese yokai. There are two different types those that can completely separate their heads from their body and those that stretch their necks out enormously. The latter, although their body doesn't move, their head can move by stretching their neck to great lengths as if it were a snake. In addition, it can also change its face to that of a horrible oni to scare even more. During the day, they look like normal women. They often go unnoticed and even have deadly partners. Some are so used to leading a human life that they try to keep their secret. It is said that there are some Rokurokubi who don't know their terrible nature, believing that they are human, and that their nocturnal transformations are nightmares. They remember seeing the room or other places from another strange angle, thinking that they are bad dreams, without realizing that their head has really been traveling in search of victims. At night, they show their supernatural nature. It is said that this type of yokai attacks in the dark, scares, and not only that, it also drinks the blood of humans. In addition, it has been pointed out that they have a strange fascination for drinking the oil from the lamps. To hide their yokai status, those with knowledge of their transformation sometimes wear scarves and turtlenecks to hide their appearance. According to legend, these creatures die if they don't return to their body before sunrise. So, one way to kill them is to destroy the rest of their body or hide it so they can't find it in time. Did you know this terrible creature from Japanese folklore? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode!